anything um, hmm. well I did start my cross stitch and I've done about 20 cross stitches and on the last row that I were doing it said do 10 and I made a mistake and did 11 <laughs> so then I tried to come back out of it and now I've got it in a pickle of a nut. <laughs> 20 cross stitches and I do it wrong. <laughs> eh hey, dear. <laughs> what is life coming to? <laughs> um, but this, this particular cross stitch is different to other ones I've done because the material is a lot thicker. So it's stiffer. Um, and also they've told me to not use two strands of cotton but use one strand and double it over so normally if I'd have got a knot in a cross stitch or I'd done something wrong I'd just take the needle off at the end and pull it out no, can't do that so that's how I've got me sending a knot Trying to come back through the cross stitch to mm. to pull it out. Mm. So it, I I think doing it this way is better for the cross stitch because it's tighter. It doesn't. It's not twisting round itself. The, whereas when you use two strands, they can get sort of twisted round, and it makes the cross stitch look a bit. Uncouth <laughs> or something. <laughs> so I've got that to sort out this afternoon to get my big magnifying glass out and see if I can see where it's tangled. Trouble is, when you try to untangle it, you don't know whether you're making it worse by getting more tangled up. Oh dear. So that's my job for this afternoon. Oh, we're enjoying it yesterday. It was very nice doing it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Discovered oh. Right, so where good. to start and everything. Yeah, we did sort it. Yeah, and it is the fold over. Do it from the middle of the fold. Like Mary said. Yeah, it's yeah. still that way. I think when I were doing it last time, when I looked at it, I must have been in a... A bit of a fuzz, fuzzy head or something, because it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. So, that's my little... That's yours. Yeah, my little bit of mm. thing. Mm. What have I got to say? We went out for fish and chips last night, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we took Weatherby Well. I filmed it before, you've seen Weatherby Well. Mm. Um, can't say I had anything particular to report there. No. Um, has any? I know I have got um, subscribers from America, but I, I was watching a thing, um, a video about Auckland, which is off the, over the the other side of the bridge from San Francisco, and. Um, this guy's driving down all these streets and there's all these ram, ramshackle sort of home made homes that people have fashioned together and old caravans and um, RVs that people are living in and it's just litter everywhere um, or trash as they call it in America uh, and um, there's, apparently there's just people living in these primitive conditions and this the guy was saying that the average um, house price in Auckland was nine hundred thousand dollars 
Um, so people just couldn't afford, a lot of people couldn't afford homes, they're becoming homeless, living in these. Uh, I don't know if any of you lot out there in America know about that. Um, Become a shanty town. Shanty town, yeah, that's really what it looked like. Yeah, it did. Mm. Um, look, looked like a third world country. Yeah. I think that's uh, and something else I'd heard, I'd watched as well about the dollar. Um, um, and this, you know, the Brit, Brit nations, Brazil, Russia, India. And um, uh, I don't know, but um, I've, th there's another country just joined it now, and they're all basing their currency on gold in these Brit nations. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so there's a lot going on out mm -hmm. there. It, it's going to undermine the dollar, and this is this is where where perhaps the, the dollar is going to lose its reserve currency status mm -hmm. um, uh, because, oh China, that's it, yeah, there's the C, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, China. Um, so together, mm -hmm. I mean, we're in recession, America's in recession, I believe Germany is as well, so all those lot are all in recession in the western all all these brick nations are, are not, i don't think they are because uh, they are they dealing they're with in gold a, in a more powerful position altogether mm. and then um, this digital currency um that uh, that lagarde that is it christine lagarde the head of the European Central Bank was on yesterday about that they're ready about they're getting to a point where they're ready to roll out this digital currency um, and it oh it sounds really weird I, I do not profess to understand that this digital currency mm -hmm. um, but um, it's just it's, they, I, mean, I don't know, you could, you could stretch your imagination a bit into one, into trying to figure out in how it would all work out, but they, they would have, the idea is there's, there's all the, cent, the, the central banks controlled by what is called BIC, which is one big bank that controls all the central banks and the, at the top of it is a really fat bloke ah. I mean you couldn't make it up could you? No Like there's this pyramid and we're all at, we're, at, we're at the bottom we're starving little thin thin uh, creatures crawling around in poverty and go right up to the top of the pyramid and there's this great big fat guy controlling the currency, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and this is the this is the the hierarchy of the digital currency, and um, they can ultimately monitor every penny you spend. Well, you won't be spending any pennies because it's all <laughs> be digital, and they'll oh, be dear. able to monitor everything. And say, let's like, say, for instance. There was an oversupply of, of a product and they needed to keep the price up so they put a limit on they'd stop you buying it they could literally put a stop on a product or something so you couldn't buy it they could control what you spend the, this digital mm. currency on yeah i mean is that far-fetched <laughs> What's the digital currency? Is it being done by your phone and things like that? Will you not be able to draw money out of a cash machine anymore? There'll be no such thing as cash. Right. Ultimately. 
because cash can't be monitored. That would be me, Doug. Even gold and silver <laughs> has to has to be converted into what we call coupons mm. or tokens, is it, or oh, something? Tokens. I think it's it. Yeah. I don't know how oh, that works. So anything physical. That has to be accounted for as well yeah. in this digital currency. That's going to um, do heads in at older folk, isn't it? No. People like me who don't understand all that. You, um, you, it, you, <laughs> how do you fit into all this? I have no idea. Not very well, I should think. Or not at all. Well, having having physical something physical in in the way of a currency, you'd think you'd be free of any kind of monitoring. Um, it, it's the, the idea is the total end of freedom. There's no no such thing as freedom anymore. You, you everybody's. I don't know. I They're don't, all going to know what, you, what you're doing. Don't ask me. I, I just watch. Um, I'm interested in it. Yeah. I don't claim to understand it. And maybe they make it complicated on purpose. Mm. Um, yeah. These people talk and I have no idea. What oh, I know. I was listening to somebody yesterday we, uh, when I was in the bedroom and what on earth is he trying to say? I know. What is he telling me? I just haven't a clue. I know. They uh, were using words that I'd never heard of before. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, mm. there is word in, words in the financial world out there. That, yeah. That they you don't know of. I don't, I don't know. No. 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 Yeah. The what a word that that they use and I went online to find out what it meant. Mm. And it meant wait a minute, it meant uh what did this word mean? It meant when something is being when something is being talked up by social media. Mm. There's a word for it. Uh, it, 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 it isn't just because it's being talked up don't mean it's valuable. It's just this word. Mm. It must, that what word must have come about as a result of social media. Mm. So it would be a fairly new word. Right, right. I can't remember. Yeah. But the, the, the financial people use this word. Right. I can't remember what the word is now. Mm. Somebody out there knows it. Aye. I know I know somebody who knows the, what the word. the word is, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Aye. yeah. <laughs> it's all going on. It's all going on. Aren't We've they got are... the farmers that are... Farmers? Oh, well, we don't know well, what's going on with them. It's, what it's these all, people are doing. It's almost as though they're trying to get rid of farmers. Yeah. What? Get rid of farms. As though, like, we're not content with getting rid of textile industry, steel. fishing industry, steel industry, coal, coal and mining, in, yeah, mining industry, heavy engineering industry. Now they want to get rid of farming industry, yeah. agriculture. Yeah. What? Yeah, do away with our fear animals and turn it to wood or <clears throat> ponds. And... We, we don't know what's going on here. People are just going around living their lives. Yeah, well, you know, we are. We are. And, well, and then we keep getting these little snippets, don't oh, we? Oh, no, I've got... I, I, You've I've, got... My antennas are up now. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminded me of that. What it? Mark and Mindy. Mark and Mindy. Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, little antennas. <laughs> Oh yeah, mine are, mine are, dee 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 Not wanting to scare you folks, not no, wanting, no, no. you can't possibly be scared of anything I say, because it don't make a ape of the sense. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying, I'm just, that, what, that's what's occupying me. It's, yeah. 
there's a lot going on out there. Different things. Yeah, um, there the must be, there can't be smoke without fire. Mm. Uh, and I, I must admit, when I, I was saying to um, a friend of mine that when we were in that aeroplane other week, I did notice some strange vapour trails. Mm. They were cr crossing one another. Really, like in a metric, in a, a pattern. I, I thought, oh, that's unusual. I, I've seen vapour trails in the sky before, but I've never seen them forming this exact, exact pattern of thing. Like squares. Yeah. Really crisscross, crisscrossy. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I thought, oh. And I, I just thought, well, I haven't been in an aeroplane for 60 years, mm. so what do I know? I mean, I might hope that maybe that's what they're like up here. Mm. Yeah, but somebody was saying that... That is... That somebody's messing about with weather. Mm. With it, using... Vapor trail. Some... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. Specific pattern. I, I do not know, folks. But... If anybody does know. <laughs> yeah, if you know. Let us know. Let us know, yeah. Uh, mm. Anyway, yeah. I think we better... Yeah, stop the doom and gloom. <laughs> is it... Well, is it doom and gloom? I don't know. Well, really. maybe... I'm, maybe it's just informing I'm people. I'm older, I mean. I, I'm not going to be around, am I? No. To see the... The effects of all this, if it's mm. if it's real, it's going to happen. I don't think yeah. I'll, I don't think I'll be here. No, probably not. But I often it's funny when when you think about that because I often think about my mum. I mean, we've had COVID since my mum died. I thought, I always thought, I wonder what my mother would make of this lot. All the mm. things that have happened yeah. since my mum died. Yeah, and you, you think. When when you know when when I fall off at perch, what will happen? What will happen in years after? Mm. And I, I I won't know what about it. Yeah. It, yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. On the lighter note. Oh. Last yeah. night we watched um, Tommy Steele. Oh aye. And apparently he's eighty. 83, I think. Something like that. Something like yeah, he's that. He's in his 80s. And he's still um, performing, isn't yeah, he? He's still doing... I, he, I don't know whether he's producing mm. or actually performing. He does produce now, doesn't yeah. he? He's producing um, and directing. What, what had he done then? Um, what was that last thing? He, he was playing a conductor. Um, oh, um, Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller. Yeah, they were doing a... Uh, production of Glenn Miller, uh, yeah. I believe, on mm. maybe Broadway, won't it? Yeah, he's down in London, in isn't he? Um, but, um, yeah. I mean, he led an interesting career, mm. really, hasn't he? He's danced with Gene Kelly and um, Fred Astaire. Yeah. 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 Fred Astaire taught him to tap dance. He did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Six he did. Six weeks it took him. I mean, he, he, there's a film of him... Dancing with Fred Astaire, tap yeah. dancing. He, he was yeah. Yeah, a talented guy. Yeah. And apparently a perfectionist. People well, who've worked with him. Yeah. You know, you've worker, really got to work hard, hard work. when you're working alongside Tommy yeah. Steele. Yeah. 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 yeah it, what? Was it Finnegan's Rainbow? Yeah, he did that. Well, was the tap dancing in that? Because they were um, supposedly, he played the. Um, Oh, the yeah. little, the Elf. little uh, well, what's the name that they have in, in Ireland? Leprechaun. Le a leprechaun. He played the leprechaun, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, interesting documentary. Very interesting. I, I didn't know whether he was still with us, Tommy Steele, but no. he is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And on so, that note, we'll say goodbye. Yes. Bye, goodbye. everybody.